Okay, I'm gonna take off the air intake system on this 2008 Titan and uh, replace it with a KN intake system. First thing you gotta do is remove the intake cover, then you gotta pull out the hoses and the air box. All right, so now you want to pull the mass airflow sensor off. Put a little clip on here. You got to work that out and then release it from the air box itself. A little tricky. And next you want to pop off the vent hoses off the resonator here. Now you want to take the hose clamp off of the hose running to the intake. Loosen that up nice. And work this bad boy off. Like that. Now you want to pull off the air box lid. The whole mechanism will come apart. But you need to make sure that you get this differential line hose off the lid too. Now we're going to take off the mass airflow sensor. Be careful with this thing. You don't want to go buy a new one. Be careful because these nuts will slide out of the housing for it too. So set this aside somewhere safe. Okay, so now we got to pull the air box out. And inside of here is this little 10 millimeter bolt. We just got to pull that out. And then it's held down with some retaining clips as well. So we're going to have to yank that bad boy out. Next thing you're going to want to do is install the brackets on the heat shield. And the directions will show you the orientation and the screw sizes. Make sure you pay attention to that. This little rubber gasket gets slid on. And it's, uh, it's got some metal inside of it, so when you get going, you've got to really push it on. Make sure it gets down there nice and snug. Just cut it to length. All right, also down inside of here was a little fender retaining clip type of thing. It looks like one of these bad boys that uh, just sticks up, it's made of a hard plastic. Just uh, get the side of your flat blade screwdriver, right? Like right down, on, push down on that thing, and with your thumb off to the side, snap it right through. All right, so now's the fun part putting the uh, heat shield in. Um, this might be a little difficult to film. Let's see if I can get a half decent angle on this thing. No, I don't think I'm going to get a great angle on it. <clears throat> Let me just explain. You got the uh, angle here, angle here. These will go into the hole you just created by pushing out that retaining clip. And then this side mounts over here where the other. Um, screw is attached. You gotta make sure you take the differential vent hose and attach it to the little side of the hole of the, the heat shield here. Just pop that bad boy through just so that it hangs there. Alright. 
Make sure you figure out which bolts you need so you don't get the wrong one in the wrong spot. This still calls for one of the short hexes. And of course you got to try to get this thing up underneath, which is nearly impossible to do. All right, so I managed to get that thing on. It was really easy. I just needed to put a little weight on the top, reach from underneath and got it going. I'm putting the hex bolt on the back side. I will tighten up this one here now. He's got nylocks on him. You still want to crank them up pretty good. I don't know how much you want. I don't think they need to be torque set, but just tight enough so that they don't vibrate free. And go ahead and adjust, tighten your other bolts. Now that you've got everything all set and square. Okay, so once you get your saddle bracket installed correctly, this is what's going to hold the hose so that it's not relying on just gravity yanking it down. You have to attach it to a bolt that's hooked up to the chassis, chassis here. There's a set of wires that's running down. It's this guy right here. Loosen that bad boy up, attach the saddle bracket to that, and then crank it back up. All right, next you want to take the uh, little silicone hose here and mount it to the intake system here. You don't want any leaks. So make sure this is on correctly and tight. But don't crank it so much that you warp the thing. Get your other hose clamp on now, because you'll be using that in a few minutes too. All right. All right, so mass airflow sensor installation time. Peel off the rubber sticky part. Put it on the underside. Gonna create a good seal. Now get your mass airflow sensor. Stick it through carefully, of course. That would be backwards. There we go. All right, sorry about that. My wife was leaving. I had to say goodbye. Okay, so now the airflow sensor is attached. There's this little opening right here. This needs to go towards the air filter, air intake moves this way. So careful. And then attach it with the screws. All right, so now you just got to work in your air intake into this silicone hose. Make sure you put a clamp on over the side. You can slide it through if you forget, but um, put it on first. Get the saddle bracket. You don't have to squeeze this thing and then slide that hose clamp over the top of it. This will hold that thing in place. I'll crank on this later after I got everything else installed just to make sure that we're on the right page here that everything is where it needs to be. I'm just gonna partially tighten these for now. I'll crank them up later. Make sure you're behind the lip all the way around. I can feel that. There's a little lip right inside of here. You gotta be back side on the back side of that. Good and then again like I said I'll crank this up a little bit later. I'll crank this one up a little bit later. Make sure everything's aligned first. Okay the next thing you want to do take the two supply hoses and you gotta attach them with these little uh, female to female connectors so this goes inside of here this will go on top I don't like that connection very much I'm gonna back it out a little bit and I'll get this guy going first and that will ensure that it stays where I leave it there. Uh, I'll slide right on, 
this guy back. Come on. Double check to make sure I got enough on that side. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. And those just slide right over. Come back in. Slide him over. Set this guy just right back in there. Thousands. Awesome. Alright, the next thing you gotta do is get the clamps put these two pieces together there's one little silicone thing that fits inside of the filter system and then this clamp holds it together put on your two clamps one is secured now and you got to work this thing into the box and get it on to your intake system which of course never goes as planned oh, but it's going good there you go it's a little bit of work oh, maybe if i loosen this a little more huh Dingle. There we go. No, nope. a little bit more. Once it's over that lip, it'll be fine. Where is that clamp? Oh. Okay. Now she's over. Mostly over. in its little groove. All right, crank that bad boy up too. Make sure it's on. Yes. Okay, everything looks good as far as positions go. So now I'm gonna just start cranking everything down. This already cranked, that already cranked. I don't like that I put it in that position. Oh, whatever. Maybe I will loosen this, rotate it, because it'll be easier to change the filter. I need to replace there. Awesome, then we've got mass airflow sensor and intake lid, and we're done. All right, now mass airflow sensor just pushes on here push that's good that's good I crank up the saddle clamp All right, all done. So total time about uh, I don't know, an hour and change, but I was filming. I think I would have done this in 45 minutes. Had I not, let me uh, fire it up, see how it sounds. All right, let's fire it up. for certain when I push the gas pedal it seemed to respond a little quicker
spooling up. So that'll be fun. Can't wait to test drive it.